Hey guys and girls, so here again. Today we'll be taking a look at the Polaroid 600 SE mounted with a 75mm lens. We'll be shooting Fuji FP3000 pack film and we'll be doing some architectural shots. Come with me. And here we are at the location of our first photo I'm thinking of taking today. We see the architecture of the building with the contrasting in material, with the glass and concrete contrasting the wood. We see the swooping arch of the building where the architect took inspiration from an old Danish Viking ship. So let's get the shot taken, but first we need to do a light metering. We are just going to do an ambient light metering here and we are getting a shutter time of 60 and an F number of 45.9 which is basically 64. I don't have that so I have to change my shutter times to 1 25th of a second instead and get, a shutter, get an aperture of 45. First I need to focus the camera using its range finder, but because I'm shooting the wide angle lens, I need to compose my photo in the external viewfinder. Having done that and used the parallax adjustments, I'm now ready to take the shot. And that's that taken. Now comes the exciting part. And now for the exciting part about shooting pack film, the actual development process. The process takes around 15 to 20 seconds in weather like we have today. So let's get started and see our results. Right now we just wait for the time to go while our photo here is developing on the other side. The chemicals have been smeared over the actual photo and the negative and in just a moment we can see what we actually got in our photo. Should we see? The smears you see on the photo around here are due to the film being expired and since you can't buy peel apart film anymore this is kind of the best results you can get nowadays. After sitting and admiring the Harbour Porpoise for a little, let's move on and find other exciting things to take photos of. in a part of Aarhus that's still very much in development and therefore I thought we could document that so we have something to compare to later when the buildings here are done. So let's get up the stairs and take a photo of the building site. And as we see here like I said before, this is still a part of Aarhus that's very much in development. And therefore, there's a lot of building going on around here. And let's get that documented before, it's, before it disappears. Again, we have very much light since we, we're shooting a 3000 speed film. So we'll be getting F45 at around uh, 
200, uh, one two hundredth of a second. Pretty easy to forget to do the light meeting, but it's very important the shooting peel apart since it's very, very sensitive to the right, the correct exposure. Again, I'll be doing my focusing first and then my framing afterwards due to the nature of this camera and lens combo. And with the picture shaking, it's time to put in the dark slide again and find a less windy place to develop the photo so nothing blows away. So now that we found a little more secluded place without the annoying wind, we are ready to develop our next shot. So let's get it done with. As a little bonus thing, you can see on the film right here how long the development times are regard depending on what temperature you're at while developing the film. And with that, I think it's time to see our image. <coughs> Again, we had to have the defects on the image, but that's normal for film this age. So part of what you have here in Aarhus is the water park, which we are located at now. And we have someone who's actually good at it for once. So let's see if he can make the jump. And regardless, we're gonna capture him in midair. I thought he was good. Let's try again and see what... Absolutely nothing. And I think we might got it there. So we basically returned to where we started. And let's see if we actually ca captured the wake border in midair like we hope to have done. While we are developing this, it, it could be an idea to tell that the developing chemicals for this film are very corrosive and will give up to third degree chemical burns in a very short amount of time and therefore it's very important to be make sure that you don't come in contact with the chemicals on the negative itself and only touch the positive side of the photo. It's probably a bit hard to see but we will throw it up on screen scanned later. And with, with this last frame shot, it's time to throw out the rest of the pack. 
and say goodbye.